Welcome back to the channel, Soul Family. It's me, Tony, your resident tarot specialist over here at Emperor's Light to Row. We're going to be using a wiser tarot to pull in you guys' love messages. So if that's what you're here for, hey, look no further. Uh, sit back and relax and uh, let's get into the therapeutic love session. All right. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel as well so that we can continue to grow. We're getting closer and closer to our five, sorry, 4,000. Ooh, Floridian slip. Maybe we may be uh, leaping towards 5,000 soon. <laughs> but yeah, add value to the channel so that we continue to grow. It lets me know that um, you guys are enjoying the videos and that you want me to continue uploading, that it's helping you guys, right? If the message isn't resonating for you as a, uh, as a coupleship or whether single, it could just be a, a message of self-love, right? But yeah, let's check the energies of, uh, let's see what's currently surrounding you in regards to love, romance, and the matters of the heart. Right, possibly who's wanting to uh, come towards you. Right, if you don't have any specific person that you're thinking about, this could be the next uh, upcoming romantic uh, relationship or connection uh, for you. Uh, someone that wants to uh, reach out to you romantically. Anyways, this is actually my second time doing this intro, so let's just get into the reading. Right, my favorite thing is shuffling and channeling the energies. <laughs> It's about 8 in the morning. And if you've been following the community tab, I skipped breakfast today. I'm drinking a big, gigantic, <laughs> half a gallon of uh, elderberry juice, orange juice. What else is in it? Something. But, you know, I started sniffling yesterday. So I'm like, okay, it's time to get some medicine then. And I don't feel like taking any pills, right? Grounding the reading for you guys. The Hermit. Health matters. Virgo energy. Yeah. Mm -hmm has anything to do with the nervous system or um, your immune system, right? But regardless, the uh, the hermit is like a very introspective person, right? The cloaked one or the hooded one, right? They're initiate. Uh, they could be uh, deeply critical, um, very accountable as well. It reminds me of like, a, uh, like the perfect type of assistant, right? But we'll see. You could be dealing with a Virgo, or perhaps you're a Virgo. We have more strong Earth sign energy here. King of Pentacles has been showing up a lot lately. Right? The mature man. So I'm very uh, either financially successful, right? Very, um, okay, I'm getting independent and goal-oriented. A business professional. And we have a, uh, I was going to say a business professor, but I said professional. <laughs> we have the Aries here and um, the Emperor. So, yeah, this person is very... Uh, an industry leader or something like that, a power forward. <laughs> but no, this person is like some sort of a, uh, an entrepreneur or CEO, definitely a leader somehow. The chariot, a lot of willpower. I'm getting a lot of strong masculine energy. The chariot symbolizes uh, transportation and action being taken, right? right? Also transformation is uh, for me as well because the chariot, it's, you travel in the chariot and Traveling transforms you in a certain type of way, but it's Cancer Major Arcana. So you could have someone that's wanting to rush towards you and kind of spoil you pretty much. The King of Pentacles is Mr. Moneybags, right? The mature man or um, the sugar daddy, basically. But I mean, an emperor knows how to control himself, right? And knows how to set systems of control around, you know, his people, right? He's not the only one making money. He's showing people around him how to make money, right? And then the chariot transportation willpower movement the caring and nurturing nature of this uh emperor right because the king of pentacles is a husband and a father yeah strong masculine energy showing up yeah the king of swords is like a, a politician like they're a rule maker or a rule breaker i like calling them like a um a script writer or an architect mm, yeah they can indeed be an author or an illustrator or a critic an editor or something like that, a motivational speaker, a thought provoker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a master of contracts as well. Usually Aquarius, but it could be any one of the air signs, Gemini or Libra as well. Super heavy divine masculine energy showing up, yeah, in the first row. Four of Wands, yeah. So you're a twin flame, are you? <laughs> or this person that's coming towards you seems to think that you're their twin flame. Because this is the 11-11 card, marriage, right? This is like uh, celebrations, right? Happy home life and that sort of thing. 
with your best friend, your best buddy, your soulmate or twin flame is what it looks like uh, from here. Yeah. The nine of wands, wounded warrior energy here. Mm -hmm. On top of the king of pentacles. So this person had to do a lot and work very hard to get to this king of pentacles status, which is usually the case, right? A page is a, is a page. Right, a knight is a knight. A queen is a queen. Like even the queen isn't as powerful as the king, but it is his. You know, it's his counterpart, right? As the masculine would be the leader, and the feminine would be leading from behind. I'll just put it that way. All right, a great assistant, as I was saying here. Silent but deadly, which kind of reminds me of the King of Swords as well. Very strong, silent type. The Two of Pentacles, juggling here. Nervousness or hesitation. Or someone likes to dance here is what I'm getting here. It gets, gets, gets being clarified by the Emperor. So I'm not sure if it's this Emperor that likes to dance. <laughs> or if this Emperor is like nervous or juggling something. With this King of Pentacles energy here, of course it would be finances and, and love life, right? Yeah. That's what it seems like. The Four of Cups. Mm -hmm. So two fours here. It comes out on top of Chariot. This is a very loving and nurturing individual that's coming towards you, right? I'm not sure if they appear so, right? But you can't always judge a book by its cover, right? If people were judging me <laughs> like that, then yeah. I'm not sure if we would have this channel here. Because it's one thing to know me in real life, but online... Yeah, you don't really necessarily get that option to sit down and have a, a conversation with someone. Uh, everyone, because of TikTok and whatever, right? The short attention span, right? <laughs> Unless I'm like doing something crazy in five seconds to get someone's attention, right? <laughs> you won't, you won't necessarily uh, catch my personality, right? I did a whole three years worth of videos on my first YouTube channel. You know how many videos and subscribers I got? Three years. 350 subs <laughs> with over 2,000 videos of me giving some of the best knowledge I've ever given my whole entire life as a 33-year-old man, right? <laughs> Start showing myself as a spectacle out here on this channel, right? <laughs> now here comes people slowly creeping in. Eight of Pentacles, yeah. The consistent and hard work that I had to put in. This person is being, um, this person is possibly very thorough that's coming towards you. Yeah, they're a writer. They're either writing something here, is what I'm getting. A manual, a book, a script. Or maybe there's some sort of an illustrator, like an artist or whatever the case may be. A producer or director. Yeah, someone's writing a script here. Going to be very financially um, successful as well, right? Yeah. Yeah, like I said, nine of pentacles. You go from the eight to the nine. Like, the boy don't lie. <laughs> I was just watching um, some ordinary gamers, <clears throat> and I was uh, one of these uh, world leaders or wh whoever this person is, right, um, over in the Philippines that's running like all these crazy scams and what have you. And I said this a week ago, not even a week ago, what was this make like two, three weeks ago? I said that um, these false prophets was going to start losing their um, their platforms. Now, it's not just him. I know people personally, like YouTubers. <laughs> that have been demonetized or had their whole entire account just deactivated or taken off of YouTube, right? <laughs> so I can literally right now count on both hands how many false prophets have lost their platform since I said that three weeks ago. I don't know why I brought that up. But no, this person's uh, working very hard. They're definitely going to have some sort of a harvest come towards them, whether it's uh, independence. I'm not sure if they're going to be purchasing their home. It's something to do with the home life, though. Very stable home life, very grounded. Mm hmm. This could even be a child for some if you're working on that. Yeah, moon card, maternal energy, the mother. Mm hmm. Animals know. <laughs> a lot of you women, right? Have you ever, well, women that was, a, that was pregnant, uh, how did uh, animals act towards you <laughs> when, they, when, they, when they knew you were pregnant or when they found out you were pregnant? <laughs> I don't think animals find out, I think they just know. <laughs> But hella intuitive, this person that's coming towards you, they're very intuitive. They may have a lot of secrets or something like that. There may be like an illusion or smoke screen around this person. You know what it is? I'm getting uh, Kanye West um, flashing lights. 
I'm also getting, um, uh, yeah, that's what I'm getting, flashing lights. Because it's the same thing, like, even when you're a light worker, like, the higher the uh, light you cast or the brighter you are, the bigger your shadows and the bigger your, your troubles and, you know, your challenges are going to be, right? That's like if you, you're broke today, <laughs> right? <laughs> and then you get a million dollars tomorrow, you know, you go happen to buy a sports car, which is the fastest car on the street, and you end up like driving at 100 miles an hour, right? You might have been safer when you was broke because <laughs> now you're acting crazy driving 100 plus miles an hour <laughs> through a regular street, right? The bigger your challenges are, right? The bigger your light is, right? Uh, let's see. Let's clarify this Two of Pentacles and this uh, Emperor card, the Fool card. I keep seeing this combination of cards. Aries, baby boss. You're dealing with a leader here. So I'm with a lot of leadership capabilities. I think this is the good kind of leader too. Not like an F boy. Politics is trying to come into this reading. We have the Queen of Pentacles. The first card out with the King of Pentacles. Dare I say the assistant, the hermit, earth sign energy. Yeah. Is your person your counterpart, your match? Husband and wife here. Let's see. Let's clarify the eight of pentacles and the Mr. Contract Man, King of Swords, the teacher. Knight of Swords. Someone has something to say here. Uh, communication or delivering um, messages. This could be a mail coming to you. I don't know if it's like snail mail or an email. Some sort of a text message, phone call, possibly even Skype. Check your DMs as well. The Five of Cups, grief, loss, and sadness. It could even be health matters as well. Mm. Oh, yeah. This reminds me of women nowadays. How they have all the things that they think will make them happy except for... <laughs> A family, right? A husband, right? A child, right? 40, 40 years old. And I just ran across the meme that said women over 40 are the problem. I didn't say that. <laughs> I don't necessarily think that's true, but you know, certain people have a certain way of putting things that kind of puts things in perspective. It's like, well, you kind of have to look at yourself to figure out why you're 40 plus and you're single. Do you have um, your values or your standards? Are they too high, right? Because sometimes we don't think we have standards that are too high. Too much of anything is bad for you, right? Drinking too much water will kill you. You'll drown yourself. <laughs> you know, that sounds crazy, right? I would never tell someone to drop their, drop their boundaries or their guard. The, the chick that I'm attracted to at this time or sees myself focusing on at this time, her, her name actually means boundaries. <laughs> so I'm like, whoa. <laughs> uh, TMI, TMI. Ooh, yeah, this person, they like you a lot. So they're, they're researching you or they're focusing on you or something like that. Yeah, they're trying to manifest you here. Ten of Cups, a happy family and wish fulfillment. They're completely elated with you. And this is them trying to manifest it. Gemini and Virgo energy. We saw Virgo at the bottom of the deck. They may be um, Gemini or Virgo. Wheel of Fortune here. Fate and destiny, right? Luck and karma. Wish fulfillment. Your own internal compass and GPS. But I think this is divine stepping in here with a divine timing. Mm -hmm. This person may be working with lucky charms. <laughs> yeah, they're passionate towards you. Yeah. Yep, husband and wife. Yep, yep, yep. The king of pentacles and the queen of pentacles and the ace of pentacles, which is a uh, financial windfall. Or, um, again, a new commitment. This could be marriage. Right? And, of course, the king and queen of pentacles is always going to build a business together. Right? They don't feel comfortable if they don't have comfort. Right? Which means financial success. 
Again, um, this person may be like a motivational speaker or some sort of a teacher, a professor, possibly a guru. Um, they could be like a stage magician or something like that. A producer or director. This could be a blogger or a blogger as well. Let me see here. The major arcana to show up in this reading. Yeah, they're like a strong illusionist. Yeah. I uploaded that to the community tab at one point. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm also getting the prestige. If you've never watched that movie before, it's another magic movie. Yeah. And it's not all fun and games. Those are two serious movies about love, right? The um, the illusionist was about, um, you know... <laughs> It was about, what was it? I know what it was about, but I'm, let me try to explain it for the context of this uh, reading. Everyone thought he was a fraud, pretty much, but he legitimately, like, grew up learning how to do real magic, right? <laughs> and then, uh, I'm blanking on the actor's name. That's crazy. Edward Norton. Jesus Christ. That's why I couldn't really explain what I wanted to explain, because I'm trying to think of his name. Had that rhyme. Pause. But uh, The Prestige, right? Everyone just saw Deadpool and Wolverine. Hugh Jackman's in that movie, right? I, all, we rarely see him play a role outside of Wolverine. But yeah, he that role was friggin' amazing. Yeah, he played an, a magician that was obsessed with being uh, the best magician of his time. And we are, again, we, I like to use references and examples. A couple weeks ago, I posted to the community tab, Black Herman. And I'm in a chat room yesterday on YouTube, and I'm hearing black people talk about tarot cards and crystals and shrines and all this ancestor worship that's against what jesus said and all this stuff and i just had to i was actually thinking about this last night i'm like there's no group of people every group of people fashion their gods after them no offense i don't think black people been around for millions of years and they fashioned their god to be white <laughs> i don't even remember all these different cultures worshiping christianity uh when i was growing up now I see Asian people and, and like people that should be Muslims and Hawaiians walking around with like Christian Bibles. Oh my gosh. Oh my I thought Jesus came to break the spirit of religion, right? Um what else do I want to say? It was towards the end of the reading anyway, so let me finish up. Um we got strong Aries energy. So this person is very active, very masculine, very Mars like. They may be very attractive. And what may be very attractive about them is their uh, leadership and their ability to take control. Double Cancerian energy. The chariot and the moon. The moon represents Pisces as well. So this is a very nurturing, very caring, empathic individual. It could be some sort of a healer. We got double hermit and Gemini. So yeah, very critical person. Yeah, they may be very health conscious. Some sort of a genius. Oh, they're a strategist, too. Mm, more of a warrior, though. You know what it reminds me of? <laughs> Here comes me and my ex Nate. My ex Anytime you hear me say, you know what this reminds me of? <laughs> it reminds me of the first Predator, Arnold. After his whole team died, he had to go heads up with that damn Predator. He set all those traps. That's what it reminds me of. <laughs> Your person is like a, a warrior. And the Wheel of Fortune, abundance, whether it's financially or, you know, whatever wish fulfillment looks for you at this time, right? Take it how it resonates. Wish fulfillment or opportunity for success is coming in here. Yep. Let's do a break deck message and close this out. So I can take a second round of this juice. Messages of love and light, please, and thank you, Spirit. We have a romantic connection for you guys popping up in a reading today. Four of Wands. We got the King and Queen of Pentacles counterparts. A match with the Ace of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. Mm. Mm. 
leadership and adventure here with the uh, Aries showing up in the Emperor and the Fool card. Your person may be a shaman. Like, they're very commanding <laughs> is what I'm getting. Like, your person says something and people do it, right? <laughs> your person says something to animals and animals uh, <laughs> follow, right? Your person says something to nature, right? They tell the wind to blow this way and the wind blow that way, right? All things that I've done before as an emperor, right? <laughs> break that message i don't know why this person's sad they may be sick or something like that the nine of pentacles right health as well um this could be like someone needing to take a day off work or something like maybe they're tired or they're sick or they, they i don't know maybe a, a, a they're not focused emotionally this could be like the loss of a loved one or something like that or they just not feeling it right now yeah it's like you can't really fake it you know sometimes you can fake it right like I feel good because I'm wearing something good today. You know how they say you dress well, you feel well. Like it, you. This person can't even fake that today. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I'm not trying to laugh, but yeah. Otherwise, um, a very good reading. You know, leaders and bosses have to deal with losses and setbacks and stuff like that. So I wouldn't. I wouldn't really. Um, the most of the message that I was getting is positive. So there wasn't anything. Um, negative to linger on in this message right just well, watch for your person to come towards you they're boss like um they may be very confident very sure of themselves masculine or feminine right they're very sure of themselves um they may own a business or they uh, recently created a, a business or they talk a lot about entrepreneurship i wasn't getting a whole lot of spirituality although i did go off on that tangent about the bible and like religion and christianity right and trust me, I don't have any um, I don't have anything against Christianity, the religion that I was raised in, or any other uh, religion for that matter. I'm just saying, right? To see like Chinese people throwing around Bibles now, wasn't that, <laughs> I thought like they worship Buddha or something. <laughs> Seeing Indians, like I thought they worship like Muhammad or something like that. Why I see like these people coming around with like a friggin' chick from um, South America? She gave me a an English. She didn't even speak English. And she gave me an English Bible two weeks ago. And I'm like, you don't even, I can see if you would have handed me a Spanish Bible. <laughs> you had me an English Bible. Anyways, good luck headed towards you, right? Good things. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.